Now I'm going to include my bass. So that's a sample of nine, nine double basses playing at the same time. And then I'm going to double that with the cello. And the cello is also going to add in a little motif. Now you'll note that the motif is, they're very far apart, these little melodies, they're very, very far apart. And that's because if you were to string together a long melody throughout this entire thing, it's gonna get really, really tiring over time. So now I'm gonna add my violas in. So the violas are basically just doubling that melody and then they're also doubling the uh, pulse that's playing against uh, the pulsing bit that was happening in the cellos and the basses. So there's still a lot of room in this loop. You know, I'm I'm trying I'm not, you know, having every part play its own little individual melody. I'm I'm really trying to keep it very sparse and spare so that uh so again, so we don't get too overwhelmed and we have more room to stack things. So now I'm gonna go to the Godzilla hits. These are coming from that East West library as well. I'm gonna unmute them and we'll hear them hit each time here. <laughs> So you'll note that this loop is not a perfect like 16 bar loop. Um, the first reason for doing that is that if I'm told that it needs to be a 30 second loop, it should be exactly a 30 second loop. And we always wanna manage the expectations of our clients and be sure that we're giving them exactly what they want. I'm even a little bit off. I see that it's 29 seconds. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and adjust my tempo, slow my tempo down a little bit to get myself to 30. So just by one BPM, going from 145 to 144, I'm at exactly 30 seconds. And when I bounce that out, I know that I'll get myself a perfect 30 second loop. Um, when you're working in games, you wanna be sure that if you tell somebody you're going to deliver something, you deliver exactly what you say you're going to deliver. It's pretty important. All right, so I had these Godzilla hits, but then I figured that if I have them going, first of all, since my loop is not exactly 16 bars, if I had this Godzilla hit come in where it would normally happen here, we would get sort of a hiccup in our loop. So what I did instead is I added a timpani at the end. The timpani is going to satisfy us with the sort of percussive sound, but it's more syncopated and it brings us around to the beginning of the loop and it keeps it sounding interesting. So it kind of brings us back around to the beginning of the Godzilla loop, but it's not just a gigantic boom like the other ones are. So the idea is we're trying to keep that space, and we're also trying to make it, it is repetitive. We are keeping it grounded with those, those big hits, but we're also kind of messing with people's expectations at the very end. <laughs> 